we're going to Pandora for the first time. You excited? I'm excited. Look at how incredible this is. Well, I am happy to report that my headache is gone. Well, I can't really say totally gone. There's still some pain there, but it's so minor compared to what it was the past three days. So I am really thankful. Today, Judd and I are heading out to Orlando and on the way we're stopping for one of my doctor's appointments. I'm seeing my POTS doctor. I got lots of stuff I wanna to talk to him about. But before we do that, we actually have to make it out the door and I already had so much to do this morning between taking care of my feeding tube, my breathing treatments, my pills, medications, and making sure I had absolutely everything I need for this trip to take care of my malfunctioning body and my chronic illnesses, just all those pre-travel medical checklists I was talking about yesterday. And I also need to change my port needle because it's time to do that today, hook up to my infusions, do a few more things, and we should be good to go. We made it on the road. Man, getting out of the house was... <laughs> a nightmare for Jack. Yeah, yeah, it was an ordeal for me. So anyways, this appointment, I want to go over a few things. One, my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome has been giving me more issues, more issues with my joints, more dislocation, subluxion. So I'm gonna ask my doctor for a referral to another physician who can help me more with it, maybe pain management, an orthopedic, somebody. Also having issues with the tendons in the back of my ankle. When I wake up in the morning and after not moving my feet for a while, they become very stiff and it's hard to walk at first. And I've heard that probably can be common with EDS. I've already made an appointment with an EDS literate podiatrist in Orlando, but I wanna to talk to my doctor about it anyway. I like him to know everything that's going on with me. We are also going to ask him about what medications that I take orally we can turn into liquid so I can put them through my feeding tube because I have malabsorption issues throughout my entire digestive tract, but my stomach is the worst problem area. So if we can bypass my stomach and put it directly into my jejunum through my feeding tube, I'll be able to absorb my meds better and they'll be more effective. I also need to talk to him about IV Benadryl. I don't know if we're pushing it too fast or if we need to dilute it in saline, but with my past three angioedema attacks, I still have residual allergy effects after the IV Benadryl and a little part of me is worried I might be becoming allergic to the IV Benadryl or something in the medicine itself. Maybe not the Benadryl itself, but maybe a preservative or something. So I don't know. Maybe my angioedema attacks are just getting worse and the IV Benadryl isn't enough to stop it. I, I don't know. So I want to talk to him about that. And I need to call my geneticist as well who takes care of my angioedema attacks. But I feel like maybe finding an allergist will also be helpful because I don't have one at the moment. So I'm gonna talk to my doctor about all this. And of course, we're gonna go over my POTS as well. He's kind of the doctor who handles all points of care for me. So I talk to him about everything. Hey, Pa. Being a good dog? Yeah, you are. We made it to the appointment and we will see y'all after. So the appointment went great. None of my prescriptions come in liquid form though, but my over-the-counter Pepsid I take twice a day does, so we're gonna sort that out. We found a doctor to refer me to for my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which will hopefully work out. You never really know until you go to the appointment, so cautious optimism. My doctor said that I'm not becoming allergic to IV Benadryl, which makes me so relieved. I felt kind of crazy thinking that. He said that it's just normal when I go through such a severe allergy attack, like an angioedema attack, that it takes some time for all the symptoms to dissipate. And each attack will vary, so some will take longer for the symptoms to dissipate. Some the symptoms may go away altogether once the Benadryl hits me, so makes sense. And also, the lady who handles all the insurance stuff said TRICARE is super easy to work with, which makes me feel even better about the transition from my current insurance to TRICARE, which I'll be doing next month. And yeah, it was a great appointment. And now we are going to... Chick-fil-A! Getting some lunch. Oh, and he did say this was the best he has ever seen me. My POTS is as manageable as it can be right now. It still gives me issues, but doing the best we can. And he said the feeding tube, like, this is the best he's seen me. This feeding tube has drastically brought me back to life. I am so thankful. Chick-fil-A was tasty, but we ate in the car because it was crazy in there. 
And now we are on the road to Paul and Janice's house. Woohoo! Huh. Uh. <laughs> It's really nice living on the Gulf Coast. It's so pretty. The best state in the country, just saying. <laughs> just saying. Well, we are a little biased since we live here. <laughs> Gotta change my infusion bag over in the car. Let's do this. Show the people what you've done. <laughs> oh, while switching out my bags, I tangled my line in the seat belt. Feeding tube and all. Feeding tube's good, it's the infusion line. <laughs> so you can't just put the backpack through it? <laughs> no, I'm stuck. Okay, I gotta untangle this because I really gotta pee. But then we are almost to Orlando. <laughs> we made it. And of course the guys are playing video games. We're killing. <laughs> and the dogs are having a blast. Judd and I are going on an adventure. We are. And here's a hint. Ta-da! Our limited new edition. limited edition matching haunted mansion magic bands. We're going to Disney. We're checking out Pandora for the first time. And we do not have the hippo with us. One, it's raining, drizzling, hence the raincoats. And I don't want her to get gross because we have a busy weekend seeing friends and family and doing stuff. Also, she's having so much fun with Orion. I just figured Judd and I can have a date night you know, going. without the kid. Without the kid. Um, I have Judd with me, so if a medical episode happens, he will handle it. We're gonna use my wheelchair, so because I don't have Harlow to rely on for mobility support. And um, Paul and Janice are puppy sitting. This is a good way to prevent any separation anxiety from developing, which she does not have. And it's good. You know, sometimes it's nice to go out without the dog and not to be a spectacle of, oh my gosh, like she has a dog, so. Because it is weird seeing a dog in public and sometimes it's just nice for Judd and I to go out on a date, just the two of us. It is. Yes. And Harlow has done Disney before many times. She's great there. We just want a date night to the two of us. Plus, it's Judd's birthday next weekend, so we're kind of celebrating it. She doesn't like to celebrate his birthday. I hate it. Yeah, so we're not going to make a big deal about it, but we are going to get him something at Disney as a present, so we're excited. We made it! We're going to Pandora for the first time. You excited? I'm excited. Same, and look, our friends, when they heard about our engagement, went and got our happily ever after pins. They're so sweet. Now that we're married, we're ready to show off our pins and have a great time tonight. Gotta say, I am super thankful to finally be rid of this migraine and actually feeling well enough to enjoy tonight. I mean, I don't have the energy and my pain levels are at the point where walking through all of this wouldn't be feasible, but we got the wheelchair. I got my service human tonight. Kylo's getting a nice break with her puppy sitters playing with Orion. Today's a great day. I'm so thankful. We had to sort some stuff out at the guest relations place, but now we are good to go inside. Yay! It's the tree of life. We are entering Pandora. It's dark. It's so nice to have a camera that works in the dark. <laughs> I look more glowing ground. Oh, the ground is glowing. That's so cool. Oh, look at whatever that thing is. It's farting. How neat. Look at how incredible this is. So there are two rides here. One is a sit down boat ride and another one is like a strap in, kind of like a simulation flight ride, like you're flying on a banshee from the movie Avatar. I really wanna do that one, but apparently when you strap in, it pushes directly where my feeding tube is. That's what Janice told me. She's so, not a feeding tube, so it's kind of hard to determine where it would be. Well, Janice knows where my feeding tube is, so she told me it might not work. So we're going to ask the cast member if they think I'll be okay to do the flying one. If not, we'll do the boat ride this time. Anyway. So 
I went in the simulator that shows you what the seat is like for the flying ride and it pushes right where my feeding tube is and the backpack is in the way of the restraints. So that's not gonna work for the flying ride. That's kind of a bummer. I'm really bummed about that. I mean, I can go on it. Shut up, you're the worst. I'm gonna go enjoy it. See We're ya. gonna, shut <laughs> <laughs> We're, I guess we'll go do the, I love you. I know you do. I guess we'll go do the boat ride. If you can. Yeah. If you don't get wet. Let's go see if we get wet on the boat ride. <laughs> I'm not a fan of getting wet. Well, port. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right. If it gets wet, we can't because of my port. It can't get wet when it's access. Oh my gosh, what if I can't do any of the rides? No fun for you. Uh, I mean, I'm it's cool. Blast, Walk, I mean, walking around here is really cool, but let's go check out the boat ride. Starting to get a little bit of sensory overload here with all the sound effects, so got my noise canceling headphones on. We can do the boat ride. That makes me happy. Okay, so the boat ride, you don't get wet. Unfortunately, like I said, the flying one, because of the restraints, it pushes on my feeding tube, and my feeding tube backpack gets in the way. Can't do that one, which is frustrating, but I'm more thankful to have my feeding tube than to let something like this discourage me. So we're gonna do the boat ride when we get our return time to go back, so we're gonna explore some more right now. Can you grab a plant for test your growing skills? <laughs> oh, they have plants. Whoa. Ball of fun, ain't it? <laughs> Those are crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's space. It's creepy. It's like something from Alien. Ah! Ah! You can get rocks. Literally, it says rocks. <laughs> The floor lighting up, that is so cool. Look at my shoes. Service dog relief area. Of Pandora. It looks super dark, what the hell? <laughs> That's where the boogeyman lives. Oh my God. I love but all right, Jack, it's time for you to go to the restroom. Shut up. I just wanted to see where it was for when we bring Harlow. Please. But that's so dark. How am I gonna see what to pick up? <laughs> I'm enjoying our exploring. This place is pretty awesome. We're on the way to the boat ride. like the sound of the constant running water from the water features and all of the lights and the noise. It's a bit much for my autism and sensory processing disorder. There was a lot of stimming, a lot of getting close to sensory overload, but every time Judd noticed that happening, we would just go to a quiet place, do uh, recenter myself, and I took a lot of advantage of my noise canceling headphones managed okay. I'm not sure how often I'd come back, especially at night when all the lights are at their brightest because of my sensory issues, but it was awesome. I still had a good time. Even though we're supposed to be getting his gift, he's very selfless. We're getting these for me, and then I'm getting this for my dad. We're gonna give it to him for Father's Day. I think he'll love it. It has little Mickeys on it. My dad's into socks like I am. <laughs> Weirdos. I love collecting socks. They're so awesome. Do. Uh, not like normal socks, like they have to be big socks like this that go up high. Got my socks. Unfortunately, Judd did not find anything. No. I wanted stuff, but I don't need stuff. Why didn't you get anything? Because. I hate my birthday. birthday. I know. <laughs> he doesn't like being the center of attention, but I will find him a gift at one point. His birthday's July 8th, so I got time. That was a lot of fun. It was. Broken my new hat. Got it all good and sweated up. So he was really hot and sweaty, and I was cold the entire night. Even though it was like 
basically the size of a heat casualty. I wasn't a heat casualty. Yeah, I just having a heat stroke. <laughs> no, it was not. I just I don't sweat and I have autonomic nervous system dysfunction, so I can't thermoregulate very well. But we come to Disney at night because it's cool enough for me. During the day, I'm very heat intolerant and the heat will make me faint and cause a lot of issues. So we come at night, but I get too cold, which isn't, that doesn't really cause as many issues. Some pain, but it was fun and so exhausted now. But yeah, I will say that Pandora is a little much for sensory issues. Not sure how often I will visit it because of that, but I still had a good time. If you don't have sensory issues, then it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, I have sensory issues and I still enjoyed it. It was just, at times it was a bit much, but I'm excited to go home and see Harlow. Um, Disney was super accommodating with everything. When we went through security and they had to check my feeding tube backpack, they were just super nice about it. Um, Disney is great with disability accommodation. And we are on the way back to Polynesia to see our hippo and go to sleep because I'm really, really exhausted from all that, but thankful I felt well enough to enjoy it. Thankful for Judd to take care of me, push me in the wheelchair. And with that, we will say good night and thank you for joining us on our first Pandora adventure.